blinding sand, sufficiently penetrating to eat into the skin of man. Torrential sheets of rain and a blazing sun combine to make a perilous steaming jungle in the Congo. The Congo, over a million square miles of the Earth's surface in the heart of the African continent, is the home of the world's wildest animals. This is the land where the professional animal agent or game hunter earns his living. His customer, the museum, the circus, the zoo. From these herds comes the circus lion and the giraffe on display at the zoo. But among the rarest of all animals is the Akongo. Striped, purplish-brown, short-necked, relative of the bongo and the okapi. This rare species is akin to the more common antelope and zebra. Ordinarily docile, the Akongo is fierce and cunning when disturbed. It feeds upon a rare equatorial plant called the mandrel. Within the glands of this animal, the mandro leaf, upon digestion, is transferred into a powerfully destructive narcotic. Here is a seldom photographed herd of a Congo. The combined value of these rare specimens is in the hundreds of thousands of dollars. A prize indeed, even when their capture is not intended for the museum, or the zoo, or the circus. Thanks to you, Mr. Uh... Jim, Jungle Jim. I'm Ronald Cameron, an inspector with the Territorial Police. I'm on a mission, or was, into the jungle country. You lost your bearings? No, no, I've been reconnoitering. A few weeks ago, Professor Dunham, dean of biochemistry at Cairo University, mysteriously disappeared. He was in this area doing some research. My job is to find him. What makes you think he came into the jungle? Well, he was looking for some kind of a rare animal. Rare animal? What kind? Well, I don't quite recall the name, but it was a cross between two other animals. Must be an Okongo. Okongo? Yeah. Tamba! Tamba, come here. Come here, give me that hatchet. been in the Okongo country again. This is what the Okongos look like. Weird looking, aren't they? The natives carry them. Okongo natives? Primitive tribe, way back in the bush. They worship the Okongos. I hope I don't get one of these in the back of my skull. I hope not. Let's get some dry clothes on. Hey, Jim. If the chimp found the hatchet, he might know where the Okongo village is. You know, we might pick up the professor's trail there. Where'd you get this, fellow? That way or that way? And I thought chimps were smart. 
chimps are like people. Some are, some aren't. There's the Okongo village. Seems to be completely deserted. Not for long. Those lions are headed for it. that village. Look, the shrine of the Congo. It's deserted, all right. All that trudging for nothing. Let's take a look around. Moved out. Looks like they fought their way out. With white men. Professor Dunham may have been with them. Maybe. Thank <laughs> you. 
into a trap. We'll have to take that chance. The natives are the only ones who can put us on the right track. spear. The women are looking at it as if it were magic. It's the native sign of obedience to the Okongo god. They don't understand how I know it. You make sign of obedience to Okongo god. How you learned that? I belong to the jungle. But where are your friends? Other white men. What other white men? The evil ones who attack our village and take our men away. What do you make of all this, Jim? Jim? Mm-hmm. You jungle Jim? That's right. I hear talking drums of jungle people speak of you. They say you are a man to trust. Why did they take your tribesmen away? To use them as hunters. To make them track down and kill the sacred Okongos. The animals we worship. I don't believe it. If Professor Dunham was with them, he knows your people worship the Okongos. He certainly wouldn't have the any... The white men knew. Our chief told them. But they only laugh. Call us savages. I don't understand all this. I'm sure Professor Dunham only wanted one single Congo alive as a specimen. She doesn't think so. go with you, Lita. No, Mahara. You must stay here to guard the young one. But my man, Lita. The whites could never make him kill the sacred Okongo. He would die first. We'll bring him back. Also the others. The main herd of the Okongos, where would they be? Their feeding grounds are beyond desert. But, Jim, I thought we were going to look for the professor. If we find the Okongos, we'll find the professor. The 
Sahara. Can I go with Lita? No, you stay here. <laughs> This certainly doesn't look like the same stuff to me. Think the professor's pulling a double cross, maybe? I don't know. He's been acting kind of funny ever since Cameron left. You sent for me? Yeah, yeah, Professor. Sit down. Have a cigar? No, thanks. Uh, professor, that last the Congo you worked on there, he was the same as the others, wasn't he? Yes, of course. And uh, this is from the same Congo gland? The same. Could have made a mistake, maybe? Taking it from a different gland, maybe? It's the same that your Mr. Cameron took back to be processed. Then why is it turning yellow? It has to be processed within a week after extraction. Yeah. Right now, this is quite useless for the evil purpose Mr. Cameron intended. Well, in that case, Professor, we'll get you another one of them of Congress to work on right away. I'll have nothing more to do with those animals. Oh, yes, you will, Professor. Mr. Cameron is flying back in his own plane. Should be here any time now. And he's a funny kind of boss. Gets what he wants. Yeah. And if he don't, he gets rough, maybe. Like that. Oh, did you hurt your head, Professor? I hope not, because you're going to need it for your scientific work. Now run along, and we'll have another one of them a Congo spear to work on just as soon as you had a little rest. Hmm. Queer character. Yeah, all them scientific guys are characters. Too much learning. <coughs> Get that animal under control. Leave him alone. He's a native chief hunter. We'll need him. That one. Come on. I hear you've been causing a lot of trouble again. You know we don't want our work delayed. You understand me? Take care of him, Magruder. Be sure he understands. Right. What about that animal that was just brought in? I'll see that nothing happens to it. I'll send the professor to do his act. Good afternoon, Professor. We just got another subject for you. I'm not interested. He says he ain't interested in his job. Maybe I'll better persuade him. You know those animals are considered sacred by the natives. And you know I'm not impressed by savages who worship animals. You're still going to do your job. You forced me here under false pretenses. Get your equipment. I think maybe I can change his mind. I think you're going to waste your time. I don't think so. Ow!
What happened? Alan's dead. Well, I persuaded the professor to change his mind. It doesn't make any difference now. The Okongos escaped. Who tied him up? That one. Jim, do you mind if I rest a while? I'm tired. All right, Cameron. I'll do a little scouting around. I go, too. One of your men? Yes, he's one of our tribe. I think it is Naja. He must have escaped the white man. Naja! Naja! We better overtake him. Naja! 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 Grant must have let you escape. I'll have to correct his mistake. The native attacked me. He's dead. Well, I had to defend myself. And he was unarmed. I couldn't take time to find that out. He came at me like a madman. You know, he probably thought we're some of those whites who have been making the natives prisoners. That could be. Well, what was I to do? He would have strangled me if I hadn't defended myself. The last time we got a glimpse of him, he wasn't in shape to do any harm. What are you getting at? Nothing, Cameron. Except now you've ruined all our chances of ever finding out what's going on ahead. You can't take time to figure out fine points when you're being attacked. Well, it's too bad for the poor native, and for us. Take back a couple more of those Congos. All right. 
Come on, you fellas. Hurry it up, will you? Come on, man. Let's get going. Time now to try escape. Meet Roy. Use pit made for our Congo. Go to White Settlement on Great River. Tell Chief of White Police what happens to our people. I'm running away. So would I. Third time. Maybe I ought to talk to these natives one by one. Maybe. Uh, you could never get anything out of them. Try. Yeah, forget it. We got one at Congo. Nothing left for us now but to get back to camp. One of your tribesmen? Husband of Mahara. He must have tried to escape. Poor devil, if the leopard hadn't killed him, he might have led us to the other natives and Professor Dunham's party. His trail will lead us to them. Professor, come out here. Come 
I'm out of here. All right, Professor. Examine that animal. Go on. What's the matter, Professor? My men giving you a little trouble again? You and your men are murderers. No, no, Professor. That's no way to talk to your partner. Partner? <laughs> well, I'm nothing but a slave. Like the natives. Oh, you're just tired, Professor. Yeah. You've been working too hard. Yes, with a gun in my back. That's enough, Professor. Get busy. It's not a good specimen. Let it go. Remember, you tried that once before, Professor. Remember? Now, come on, get busy. All right, all right. Bring it to my tent. All right, untie the animal. Hurry up. Come on, hurry up. I still think Cameron's having this done the hard way. You mean extracting the drug from the glands of the Okongos? Yeah. Why doesn't he use the narcotic plant they feed on? Wouldn't that give him the same thing? The drug's much stronger this way. Something to do with the chemical reaction in the glands of the Okongos. Why don't you ask the professor? <laughs> He'll give you the scientific explanation. Yeah. And I'm just the guy that would understand it. Maybe. land of Okongo. This is only pass into desert. The mountains at other side, only one pass into Okongo country. I'm sure we never could have found our way without your help, Peter. Jungle Jim no path of desert and jungle. He would have found way. Do you think you could find your way out now, Jim? We'll get out. My people will never show way to evil white men. They are doomed never to leave. We better get across the desert before the sun is too high. a simoon. Yeah, a mild one. But what was that animal? A desert spider. Vicious looking, isn't it? Yeah, it was.
your Congo's feet on this very much? Yes, when they can find it. What is it? It's a mandrel plant. What's that? A narcotic. Jim, do you think that's why those white men are after the Congos? Because they have a narcotic value? Maybe. to help Jungle Jim rescue our men. We must hurry, finish our weapons, and go. Today, we're going after the whole herd of Congos. You understand? Main herd of Congos. Not around here. Where are they, then? We do not know. Would you and your men like to get back to your wives and children? Yes, please. Then lead us to the main herd. We show you. <laughs> I thought you would. Magruder, stay here and keep an eye on the professor. Take that gland extract from him and lock it up. Right, come on. Lead us, stay here with him. Where are you going? Follow the man who was chasing him. He lead us to the place where the natives are being held. But you can't take him alone. Nothing like trying. Cameron. I knew you'd be back. Lucky I am. I see you're up to your old tricks again. I couldn't stand that murdering crew of yours any longer. You're going back to camp. And this lady woman's... Why don't she run away? Now, uh, get moving.
Eddie and this wife. All right, we'll get him first and then go after the professor and the others. Becker, you and Paxson stay after the natives. got away. Now show us where you left the professor and the others. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> 
We could not wait longer, Lita. Try to save our men. White man Cameron, who was saved by Jungle Jim, is leader of those who hold our men captive. We must help Jungle Jim. He is fighting the evil ones alone. You've just about made a mess of everything. When I left you in charge, I thought things would be handled right. First off, you let the professor break every bottle of extract. But Cameron, I tried I want to... that whole herd of a Congos. And you, professor, next time you'll do your work right or I'll find some nice unpleasant way to make you do it. What are you going to do about this jungle Jim? Don't worry about him. He thinks I'm his friend. If I know jungle Jim, he'll try to reach me and the girl tonight with the idea of trying to set us free. We'll have some nice reception committees waiting for him. And mind you, I want him taken alive. Oh, are you hearing things again? Jungle Jim came to help you escape. We see today white men try to kill you. Peter let us hear from your village, but I lost her and a white man. Peter not here. Only one here is Cameron, the leader. We bring back Professor. We'll tackle Cameron later. Right now I must try to help you escape. Now maybe Cameron was wrong. I don't think Jungle Jim's gonna show up. Thanks to you, I'm back here again. Well, we all make mistakes. I hope you don't make another. Meaning what? You're going to help us hunt that herd of the Congos. What makes you think I'll help you? You're no fool, Jim. You know I wouldn't stop at anything to get that herd. If I help you find your Congos? Then nobody gets hurt. Only the Congos. Take your choice. It's either the Congos or you, the professor, and the natives. searched half the jungle. Tomorrow, if we march well, we will be across the desert. Mahara, I will march with you. No, Agira, you have a duty here. I will take my place with you to fight for our people. You must take charge of those who will someday be our warriors. Now we go.
are Congo tracks, and I suppose you just didn't happen to see them. No, I didn't see them. The Congos are around here. Come on, then. Start spreading out. Come on. All right, you now start tracking. Those are fresh tracks, aren't they? Are they? You know they are, and that means the Congos are near here. Now get busy. You heard me. Find that Congo herd. Maybe I can spot them from up there. Okay, but don't try anything. up ahead. Have your men and the natives spread out. Spread out! Spread out! Come down from there.
happy if you stay for celebration. We roast wild boar from the roots of Maya tree and roots of Timia. We bake banana in juice of wild berries. This will indeed be a feast, but my work awaits at Cairo. Jungle Jim, you will join us? I'll be back. I wouldn't miss it. Goodbye. Thank you.